And we are back. Welcome to a brand new series on the channel. This is going to be the players you need for fantasy football series where essentially every single week I'm going to build what I believe is the best possible fantasy football team for the upcoming game week. And then I'm going to be challenging you guys to either build a better one or just try and beat me with your own team. It's a pretty simple concept, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun seeing what creative teams you guys come up with or just backing yourselves and your own teams to just beat me on their own. So, the way I'm going to do this is as followed. I am always going to start by building the cheapest possible bench, giving me a maximum opportunity to go for the best possible team on the pitch. That does not mean these players won't play, though. I think Pereira and Nico Williams and Danny Ward will all be playing. Greenwood likely to be off the bench, but there are no other 4.5 million strikers that I believe will be starting. So that is what I believe the best possible bench is for the least amount of money. Let's get into the actual team. Starting with the goalkeeper, Mr. Hugo Lloris. And slightly controversial one potentially, seeming as Southampton did win away at Tottenham last season. But I don't see that happening this time around. I think South uh, Southampton are a much worse team than they were last season and Tottenham are a far better team. So I fully expect a clean sheet from Loris there and an easy six points in the opening game for him. On to the defence and we have four right backs and we are going to start with Trent Alexander-Arnold. For obvious reasons, he was the highest point scoring defender last season and they are away at Fulham. I don't expect Fulham to score against Liverpool and I would expect Trent to probably be involved in some capacity at the other end of the pitch as well. Moving on to the player next to him, someone I spoke about yesterday for my main team, that is going to be Diogo Dallo, 4.5 million for a Manchester United fullback, and I think he's a fantastic price. I would expect United to keep a clean sheet against Fulham, but given the turmoil over the course of the week, firstly, you never know, and secondly, there is a small doubt that Dallo may not play because he was involved in this whole players leaving at half-time and the pre-season friendly. If you're not confident enough to pick Dallo for your own team, I would advise picking Malassia or Martinez. Also both 4.5 million from Manchester United, who are expected to start as well. But I'm going to stick with Dallo for this team. Next to him, we have Kieran Trippier, who made a fantastic start to his fantasy football life back in the Premier League in January before his injury. He's now fully fit again, has played really well in pre-season, and Newcastle come up against Nottingham Forest in their first game. I would expect Newcastle to keep a clean sheet there, and you never know, Trippier could also be involved going the other way. And speaking of players that like to go well the other way, I am going to go for Reese James as my final option. I think he's a slightly riskier one. I think he's the most likely to concede this week, but I think his ability to score and assist at the other end makes him a fairly automatic pick for a game against Everton regardless, and if he can keep a clean sheet as well, then that would be ideal. On to the midfield then. I'm going to go for the most expensive, then the cheapest, and then leave the last two till the end, and you'll see why in a moment. So we're going to start with Mohamed Salah. Pretty obvious pick, to be honest. Highest point scorer of last season, and they start away to Fulham. I would expect him to score at least once in this fixture. So here's someone I feel you have to have this game week. I'm not going to make him captain, though. You will see why in a moment. From the most expensive to the cheapest, I'm going for Gabriel Martinelli. I uh, spoke about him again in my team's video yesterday. I think for 6 million, he is the best value fantasy football player on the entire game this year. He is going to be starting for Arsenal. He's going to be scoring. He's going to be getting assists. And for 6 million, not only is he just a good pick for points, but he also frees up funds to get in better players across the rest of the pitch. We are then going to dive straight to the strikers and sticking with Arsenal, we have to go for Gabriel Jesus. I know 73% of you already have, but I just feel like the way he started life at Arsenal, he is a must-have pick for this first few game weeks. So I expect him on this series a lot over the coming weeks. Um, not really much more to say about him. I would expect him to be scoring at least once against Crystal Palace. And finally, up front, we are going to have our captain, Mr. Harry Kane. Again, not really much more I need to say about Kane. Kind of same as Salah. He is a prolific point scorer. Southampton at home, a team that Tottenham have a very good record against. Yes, I know they lost to him at home last season. But Kane's record against Southampton speaks for itself. And I think he is the must-have captain's pick for this week. 
Now, for those of you that are incredibly sad and are good at maths and know everyone's player prices, you will know that we now have 16 million left over for the two remaining midfield picks. And this is where it gets really complicated because every single big club has a good £8 million pick. Arsenal have Saka, Liverpool have Diaz, Man City have Foden and Mares. Manchester United have Sancho for 7.5, Chelsea have Mason Mount and then also you have the James Madison option as well. I am going to go for Luis Diaz and Kulusevski, who I didn't actually mention in that list. Diaz, again, for the same reasons as Salah, I just think against Fulham, I expect Liverpool to run riot. There was definitely a call to go for Saka over Diaz, but I don't want to go for Martinelli, Jesus and Saka all in the same team. So I've taken the option of going for Martinelli as a cheaper option for Saka, allowing me to go for Diaz. As for Kulusevski, same reasons as Lloris and Kane. I expect Southampton to get quite frankly battered by Tottenham here. And with Richarlison suspended for the opening game week, it is fairly obvious that uh, Tottenham's front line will be Kane, Son and Kulusevski. And that is going to be it for the team. Let me know down in the comments who you are going to be rocking in game week one. And if you think that your team can beat the best of game week one team, why not come and prove it? Join the SO99 League. League code is on the screen right now. And any winning managers will be shouted out in the next game week's video. I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this series. Like I say, we're going to do this every week and you can join whenever you want. Challenge the team each week. Build a new team each week just to chuff in the league and see if you can beat me. All that's left to say is if you are looking forward to this series, please let me know by dropping a like, subscribing to the channel, sharing with a friend and ringing the bell so you don't miss any of the content on this channel this season. I will see you again next week for game week two. Thank you very much for watching.